This is the grade 7 math practice test for T and Ready. Question number 18. Which of the following represents a proportional relationship? That's the key thing here. They'll want you to know that. And again, they've also highlighted the idea that 3 is the number that you should pick to make sure you get the correct answer. Not answer choice 3, you just have to choose 3 of them. Don't pick 2 and then say, oh, I'm good. You have to pick 3. Now, What's the deal about a proportional relationship? Essentially, that there is a consistent relationship between x and y, which is called the unit rate, and it'll form a straight line. So it looks like this is the general format, y is equal to k x. So when you have your x value, you multiply it by some number, and it gives you the y. So if k is 3, for instance, I'll multiply x times 3, so when x is 1, 1 times 3 is 3, and this is with k being 3. And if x is 2, 2 times 3 is 6. And then if I multiply uh, x of 3 times 3, I'd get 9. You'll notice it goes up 3 each time. That's a proportional relationship. The other thing that you have to understand about a proportional relationship is, graphically speaking, they need, it needs to go through the origin. Because otherwise, you're not starting from a point that you can start in. So y equals kx, if it's plus 5 or something else, it's going to mess you up. So you have to go through the origin. Otherwise, it's not a true proportional relationship. It's some other thing. It's not just the proportion requires just the multiplication to be involved, not plus another number, or subtract a number, or whatever. It has to just be a consistent unit relationship of multiplication. So y is equal to x squared. Well, the thing about this is it's going to be a straight line. And I don't know if I can get that word in here inside the box. Oh, not bad. Not my best. See how this is x squared? That's not going to work. And if you need to test it, it does make sense to try it. So if I were to substitute in a value of 1, 1 squared is 1. And if I substitute in a value of 2, 2 squared is 4. The problem is, if you do 0, Hey, it does go through the origin because 0 squared is still 0. But if you do negative 1, well, negative 1 squared is also 1. Negative 2 squared is also 4. So you'll end up with something that looks like this. Not a straight line. So that one is out. Essentially, if it's not linear, which is to say just x, then it's probably, then it's not a proportional relationship. So sorry, M, you are out. Now, P, that has a nice straight line to it, and I can actually count the y versus x relationship. It goes up 1, 2 for every time it goes over 1, 2, 3. So up 2 over 1, 2, 3. Up 2 over 1, 2, 3. So this would be y is equal to 2 thirds x. When it's 1, it's at 2 over 3. When, it's, when I have uh, x is equal to 6, Up here, 6 times 2 is 12, divided by 3 is 4, just like it's supposed to be. So this is indeed a proportional relationship. Look at S. looks pretty good, right? It has all that straight lineness that I was hoping for. The problem is, down here, not through 0. So it's not a true proportion because it has some other component to the relationship that's not just the unit rate. So this is out. Y equals 2X. You can even run the sets. I mean, you could just draw the Y equals 2X if you want. At 1, 1 times 2 is going to be 2. At 2, it's going to be 4. At 0, it's going to be 0. Always test to see if the origin is in there. It won't work. 2 times 0 is still 0. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So if you get here, it's just like this. So it would give you a straight line if you weren't a terrible... Um, if you weren't terrible at lining up things like I am, it would give you a straight line. So this is looking good as well. And then finally... The, uh, oops, this one, this one, this is out, this is out. This has to be one, just because that's just how it works. But if I substitute in, uh, I have 3x. You'll notice, by the way, that the x values are the ones increasing. So before we had y equals kx, and I said, well, k is 3, and you'll notice that it went the opposite way. So this, y over x is one third. And you can test it if you wanted to. Um, when I have 6, six 
6 divided by 3 is 2. Just like it's supposed to be. If you did 9 here, that would be 3, just like it's supposed to be. If you have 12 here, 12 times 1 is 12 divided by 3 is 4. So all that checks out. So you will get a proportional relationship there. So again, look for a single unit relationship, unit rate. Goes to the origin, makes a straight line, and then you should have a nice proportional relationship that you're working with and should be easy to help you choose. Also, I should say, since I'm really bad about bringing things over to the answer form, maybe I do that. Just to remind myself. 